Now the uh, standard format for most databases is PGN, a PGN file, and Chessbase can read these PGN files. PGN stands for Portable Game Notation, uh, which is effectively a text file with all the game moves and game information. But you'll find that um, Chessbase has its own format of uh, databases, these CBH files, and um, if you have a database in CBH, not only does it take up less space on your uh, computer than the same database in PGN format, but also you can do, there's a great deal many more functions that you can use of chess bases um, with those CBH files. So you can see here, what I've got uh, in my main database window is I've got databases from the three London chess classics. You'll notice under each of these it says .cbh, the opening books are .ctg, uh, but most of my databases are CBH, that's chess-based databases basically. But my three London Chess Classic databases, you'll notice the first one, London Chess Classic 2009, 28 games .cbh, London Chess Classic 2010, 28 games .cbh, um, here they added an extra player, so you've got 36 games. London Chess Classic 2011 is a PGN, a Portable Game Notation. So it's actually a completely different format to the first two databases. And although at first uh, inspection we'll see um, it lo looks essentially the same, what you've got here is the CBH, the chess base format. Uh, let me just extend that window a little bit, and you can see the games, you can see commentary. Uh, and if we click on the PGN, um, again, you can see all the different games, and you can have commentary and things like that in PGNs. But let's look at how to convert that PGN into a CBH file, which is very useful. A, it saves space, and B, it means you can utilize more of the functions of Chessbase on that database. Well, the old-fashioned way, we'd have to open the PGN file, we'd have to create a new CBH file, and copy all the files from that PGN to a CBH. But Chessbase 11 has a very nice new feature that does this automatically, and you can reach it just simply by right-clicking the PGN database. So here's my PGN database, I want to right-click, and that opens this pop-up window, and you can see instantly the one that we're going to be interested in convert to CBH format. So Chessbase is going to do this all automatically now, which is really handy and a great update to how we used to have to do it. So let's left click there, and uh, it just takes a fraction of a second. Obviously if the database is bigger it'll take longer. It's only got 36 games, so this happens almost in instantaneously. And we'll ask us, do we want to delete the old database files, delete that PGN? You can still keep the PGN if you want to, and have the PGN and the CBH. Um, obviously you want to keep a backup, but I, I really think if you're converting to CBH you don't need the PGN anymore in most cases. Again, it's not quite the same as having a backup. Uh, the point of ch changing to the CBH is that it takes up less space and you can uh, utilize all the functions of Chessbase on that database. So I'm going to click Yes. And see what we've actually got now is it's kept the same name, so it's LCC2011.pgn, but that brackets, you can now if I unclick that, it's actually got brackets CBH, and the format has now changed 36 games in CBH format. You'll notice if we actually double click it and open it up, it'll look very much the same. But now um, it's a completely different format, a completely different way of storing it on your hard drive, and um, very useful. It now takes full advantage of all the different possibilities of chess base. You can rename that, of course, by right clicking going to rename if you wish to, if you want to take out that PGN altogether, which you certainly can do if you want to. You don't have to, it's not important, but I'll do that just for consistency of my uh, my icons on my desktop, on my uh, main database window, should I say. So there you go, that's just how simple, much uh, more simple than it ever was in previous versions of Chessbase, um, how to change PGNs into CBH.